Weiner is easily one of my favorite players heading into next year. Very interesting history, entertaining dude, and most of all, correct is all hell. Can he jaw with the rest of the gladiators and lead them to a top tier finish, or will he be emptied Eden to oblivion? Let's find out. Reiner got a start in several tier 3 teams, including no anime allowed, and we get a fairly good result, being sem semifinalist for several tournaments. It's also important to note here that at this time, Reiner went by Frill and was a flex DPS. He would not become a main tank until much later. He would later win open division with Fractal Esports, where he and his team would end up on the now infamous GOAT squad. Yes, Reiner was one of the masterminds behind GOATs. He hit him later, he had a pretty impressive run with these guys. Winning open division again and beat Invitational when he impressed as the break player of his team. Bit ironic considering Ryan would wind up as one of his best heroes, but still. He would join contenders with last night's leftovers, but wouldn't impress much and would take an early exit. He then joined Second Wind, where he would find much more success, being semi-finalist in every season aside from one stage, even after the massacre roster got massacred by the Titans. This is where he moved into the off tank role, or main tank role, allegedly to dodge the long DPS queues. Legend. While he was clearly off rolling, he was still pretty impressive, being very aggressive and dealing heaps of damage, em even MTDing Gig. He was still impressive in his own right, and having good coordination with his trusty sidekick, Kaluge. The roster would disband after a miracle run in the lower bracket, and Pharrell would name change to Shape, where he would become unbelievably good. His ball was absolutely insane. He wouldn't let the other team breathe, and was always sneaking around the back line for a sneaky kill or two, and made a ton of space. And he had very impressive performances on Ryan and Roadhog as well, having borderline carry moments. He proved that he has good, very good mechanics from his time as a DPS player, and while he had to play like a bit of a DPS at times, his aggression was generally a good thing. He would go on to win 8 tournaments with Tier 2 Drum Lord Nation, Redbird Esports, and American Tornado combined, and he seemed to get better each tournament. His run was certified cracked going out of 2021. His Hammond and Winston were competing with Itzals, who was very good at those heroes in the Asian 2020 gauntlet. His Roadhog was good when he got to pull it out. While he never impressed me that much with his Orissa, it was still very solid and the best North American contenders for sure. And here we are today, with him being signed to a championship hopeful team. The Gladiators. I am really, really hyped to see him. People might criticize his Ryan Winston for being over aggressive, but I think that fits into the Glass playstyle really nicely. Imagining the Kevster Reiner funny astro dives make me feel some kind of way. I think he's up there with Kellon as the top rookie prospect tank, and frankly, it wouldn't surprise me if he wound up being better than Kellon. I think he's more flexible, and his mechanics would allow him to pick up new heroes very, fairly easily, though I can't rate him above Kellon for sure just yet. He's an amazing pickup for the Gladiators, and Tank Line is looking to oppress it yet again. As for how he compares to Muse, he has a better Wrecking Ball on Ryan, but Muse is the better Arrest on Winston. It's tough, need to see how they adapt to the new heroes, but I think Reiner has a better chance of adapting. He's never struggled on anything he's had to play. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more. I upload nearly daily Overwatch League content, and I'm trying to hit 1,000 subs by Season 5, so any subscription helps greatly. Thanks.